there is a poet and a businessman that I've been meaning to introduce to the channel, and it's almost a crime to humanity, a crime to my viewers specifically, that I have not mentioned this man up until this point. His name is Christoph Jenkins. He is the CEO of The Poet Life, all right? So that's the brand I'd be representing in most of my videos. At the end of my videos, you see the promo to go to The Poet Life shop and buy yourself some Poet Life merch and stuff like that. Yeah, he's the CEO of that company. This man really changed my life as it pertains to my career as a poet, all right? Before I got to know him and his philosophy and mindset regarding poetry, my vision was so limited. You know what I'm saying? It was very limited regarding what poetry can do for me and what my poetry can do for others, all right? This whole idea of the starving, broke poet was something that, without me realizing it, had be it had become ingrained in me, you know, unconsciously, to the point where there were opportunities that I was passing up unknowingly because I didn't see how poetry could be an avenue for me to succeed in those fields. What I'm about to show you is an IG post on this very topic regarding, you know, expanding your vision as a poet. He posted it on his Instagram, I am Christoph Jenkins, and he also has an Instagram called The Poet Life. I highly recommend you follow him on both because there's incredible advice he gives, business advice if you're an artist, I mean, uh, advice on how to improve your poetry as well. He showcases other poets on his platform too. His IG lives are incredible. I mean, just so densely packed with wisdom and knowledge. You definitely wanna follow this guy. But without further ado, here's this IG post that really was the start of my eyes being opened as to what poetry can do, as to the money you can make, the jobs you can acquire. You see what I'm saying? No more disclaimers, let's go. When I see a poem, I see more than a poem. I see a workshop, I see a, a speech, a TED yeah. talk, I see a, a summer camp, I see an after school program, a curriculum, all from that one poem. Yeah. And if you only see a poem, how do you see the the vastness of 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 worth? Yeah. It, it's not just the inspiration. In the in the word play and the poetic writing it's more it, than that it's, it's so much more than that so when you see all of those th five six seven things that i've just named right off the bat then you start to think oh this church could use this this yes. organization this cause could use this to further their mission their vision this is valuable do y'all see what i'm saying all right, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, you're gonna be seeing more of this man on my channel. I'm gonna be reacting some, to some of his IG posts, some of the knowledge and wisdom he provides poets regarding how they can make more money, how they can break out of that idea of the starving broke poet and stuff like that. Like thanks to him, I'm actually making a website. A lot of y'all have been asking me in the comment section, when is the next poetry contest you're hosting? Once I finish that website, I'm doing it, right? I wasn't even thinking of making a website until Christoph brought it to my attention. He's like, hey man, you got to stop looking at yourself as an individual artist. You need to start viewing yourself as an entity, as a business, as a brand. You feel me? So I'm already working on my logo. I'm almost done with the website. It's probably coming out. I don't want to give an exact timetable because if I don't meet that, then, you know, you know how it'd be online. What you say on the Internet stays on the Internet. Yeah, that website is definitely coming out soon. I can't wait to really just expand my brand and it's all thanks to this man right here. So definitely follow him on Instagram. And hey, if Instagram isn't your thing, it's all good. He has a YouTube as well called Poet Life TV where he hosts the Poet Life podcast interviewing poets who are actually excelling in the poetry industry. All right, and if you don't know what I mean by poetry industry, there's the poetry community and there's the poetry industry. Christoph makes it very clear what the distinction between the two is. The poetry community is where you go to share your poetry, maybe, you know, at an open mic, just to feel like you're connected to something bigger, where other people will appreciate your art. You know what I'm saying? Just where you get to share your content and experience other people's work as well. The poetry industry is where you get into the business side of things, right? That's where you're making connections, networking socially, where you're going to schools and starting curriculums there, like he was talking about. Like he, he listed seven different ways in which poetry can be vital to you from a financial standpoint, from a career standpoint, right? It's not all about the talent you provide strictly from your art. There's other things that pertain to you as an artist, right? Like look at me, for example. Yes, I'm a poet. I go and recite poetry. I just recently went to Chicago to recite poetry at a Nigerian convention, which was very fun, by the way. I filmed some of it, I might post it, we'll see. But I'm not merely just a poet who recites words. I'm a video editor. I edit all my videos. You see what I'm saying? I'm a designer. 
I make the thumbnails for my videos. I'm a videographer. I film, you know, I record. I might not be that good at it, but I, I can still add that to my resume, you feel me? Some of y'all don't know this because I don't really vocalize it, but a lot of my subscribers will actually message me asking for feedback on their poetry and you know via email we work something out so that i can be paid for that service you feel me like very recently i stopped limiting my mind to simply oh i'm a poet i write words and recite them no i'm so much more than that bro and y'all need to start perceiving yourselves as such okay start realizing the vastness of your identity you're not merely someone who just has words to share that's great i'm not belittling that by any stretch of the means i'm a poet for god's sake there's no way i would be belittling that but you are so much more stop having that limited mindset not only should you follow this man on instagram not only should you subscribe to him on youtube but you should also get yourself acquainted with something called the wealthy poets blueprint i recently started using this product that christoph provides i'm gonna be putting in the video description of all my future videos including this one check it out click on the link i'm telling you i just finished the first lesson and like my brain is literally fried from the amount of knowledge and insight he provided me you know what i'm saying i was out here taking notes creating a vision journal for what i plan to do business related regarding my poetry you see what i'm saying like this man is revolutionizing the game. Check out the Wealthy Poets Blueprint. It all starts here, it all starts in the mind. So if you're gonna remove that limited mindset, you gotta start following advice from people such as Kristoff, all right? So subscribe to his YouTube, Poet Life TV. Follow him on Instagram at The Poet Life and at I am Christoph Jenkins. I'm gonna be providing all the socials in the description and most importantly, check out the Wealthy Poets Blueprint. You will not regret it. It will be worth every single penny. All right, it will be worth every single penny. I'm telling y'all right now, and I'm gonna see if I can vlog the process of me going through the modules in the blueprint so that y'all can have an idea of what to expect. I'm not gonna be giving y'all all the content, obviously, cause you know, you gotta pay for it, but I'll show you what I can in terms of my experience in my journey through the blueprint. And hopefully that'll give you an idea of why you should look into it, why you should check it out and why it's worth every dime, all right? Anyway, Christoph, I love you, man. Like you, you are doing great things for the poetry community. I probably would not be where I'm at right now had it not been for you. And I feel like there's major strides I'm gonna be making now that I'm using that blueprint. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, if y'all enjoyed, definitely subscribe. I know most of my channel be reactions to spoken word and rap, which is great and all, but every now and then I think it's just really good to talk about the, the artist process, you know, and the, the industry side of things as well. I really want my channel to diversify. And see, this is the kind of mindset shift I've been getting lately because of this man. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, more to come like this. So definitely subscribe if you like what you see. And I'm out. Deuces.